two, one. Uh. On a hill just outside of Roanoke, a group of people got together. You got a bunny? because they had a need for speed. Winning lane is one. I need to go fast. It was the annual running of the Star City Soapbox Derby. The Soapbox Derby is a nonprofit STEM education based youth gravity racing program. It's exciting. A lot of kids don't realize. They're like, oh, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fast. And they get in the car and then they're hooked. In the old days, the kids built their own cars. These days, they come in kits that the racers put together. But the idea is still the same. The kids have fun, and they learn about physics and math and mechanics. When you put your head down, the wind goes over you, so you have more speed to go forward. You know, in this age of game and consoles and cell phones, these kids could race anything they want in a video game. Instead, they choose to do real racing in cars that depend on gravity and their ability just to drive a straight line. Just keep it straight and just try to win. Loading in the blocks, I have stock. Seamus in lane one, Cooper in lane two. For some, Soapbox Derby racing just runs in the family. Her mom did this when she was, was little. Mom, I understand you're a veteran at this. Yes. <laughs> I am, and my dad as well. The greatest amateur race in the world. I love that. David Pogue knows something about soapbox tradition. He was 14 years old when he won the Roanoke race back in 1946. He came out today and said it was like getting to relive his youth. If you, if you had the chance, would you do it again? Sure would. <laughs> <laughs> and just like Pogue did, the winners in the two classes advanced to the Nationals in July in Akron, Ohio. Some of the racers dreamt of being just like their favorite pros. It means a lot to me. It's like gonna change my whole career, I guess, yeah. You thinking about a career in racing? Yeah. And others, not so much. Would you like to be the next Danica Patrick? No. <laughs> no matter, the idea was to compete, so it was up the hill. <laughs> and back down, time after time, to win a trophy. Winning lane is one. To have a little fun. And representing the stock division for Roanoke would be Braden. And oh yeah, to fulfill that need for Three, speed. Two, one, bye. I'm George Nolf, WFXR News, and this is my Virginia.